Okay. Today we've got a lot of muscles. I mean a lot of muscles, like seven pounds of muscles. And they're into the Madeleine muscles, not Newfoundland muscles. I'll probably never be allowed back in the Newfoundland. This isn't all of them. This is two thirds of them. We need more. So cold water, get cold water going. It's gotta be cold. Hot water will kill them. And I bought these according to Good Fish Cookbook. I checked every single one to make sure they closed properly. They're not sticking open. And when you, if they're open and you tap them and they don't close, you don't want them. Don't buy the bags. They're a scam unless, uh, unless you absolutely have to. Buy them individually if you can. And then you're going to de-beard them, which means take off these little barnacles on the side if you can. Pull them right off. Toss them in a junk bowl, and then when you're done with the muscle, when they're clean, give them a little scrub with your hands. These are not very dirty. They don't really need much. They go into the bowl. Perfectly clean muscles. Sometimes there won't even be much of a beard, and sometimes you really gotta pull down. How fast can I do this? The wonders of video recording. It's going to be so fast. Also, don't wear your good clothes. What am I doing in good clothes? I don't know. This is silly. When you're doing fish, it's going to go everywhere. You're going to have to clean everything. Having people over like I am, get dressed after. You can do this stuff in advance. All you do is put the mussels in a bowl, cover them with a damp paper towel. Thanks, Becky Selingat from Good Fish on that recommendation. Stick them in the fridge. They're good in the fridge for a while. They'll be all right. Even the next day. You can do this a day in advance. All right. And you pull away from kind of the, the stem here. Go pull away. Like you're, you're ripping. Well, for all the ladies out there, like you're waxing. For all the men out there, what do you pull down hard on? Use your imagination. That'll probably make it to air. I say that'll make it to air. I ended up paying approximately $11 and at $1.69 a pound, this is about seven pounds of mussels. One bowl here, two bowls. Now, damp paper towel over one, damp paper towel over the second, and they go into the fridge. The reason I didn't buy bags of mussels is because often, as I said, often they're not all alive anymore. You really have to check the packaging date and the, the shipment information when they were sent because if they're, you know, even a few weeks old, if they weren't properly handled, you're, you're going to get a few dead ones. I picked mine out of a, of a, loose, uh, a loose compartment and I picked out all the dead ones and I only took the alive ones. So when I got home, all I had was one dead one total. Next step, sauce. Muscles with apple cider and thyme glaze, not so much. Muscles with peach nectar, a little bit of thyme that I had left over and the bottoms of my cilantro, yes. And all that happens now is this comes to a boil Muscles go in for three minutes, and then they get removed to heat-proof dishes and covered while you reduce the pan sauce for 20 minutes. You add a lot of things before you reduce this, because if you reduce this for 20 minutes, you're going to set off a fire alarm. Boil. Boil. So the muscles are out. They're all here, all the open ones. Three containers here. One, two, three. Can imagine what's inside all these pots. A lot of muscles. Now all you do, melt the butter. One tablespoon of butter. Swirl it around. And when that's ready, you're gonna add shallots, well in my case, onions and garlic for one minute, and then everything else goes in. <laughs> Muscle liquor. Is this carved in the one piece of wood? Sorry? This, these things are carved in the one piece of wood, right? Eh? Yeah. Oh. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And voila, it's done. Not quite as reduced as it should be, but that's just fine. 
All you do is pour it over the muscle.